Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how to take beautiful photos for your listing. If you're lucky enough to have a DSLR camera, definitely use that. But these tips are geared toward your regular smartphone, so you don't need any fancy equipment to get awesome photos for your listing. Tip number one is cleaning your lens. Our fingers are greasy and they're touching our phones all day, so you'll notice that a lot of people's iPhone photos are in fact super blurry. And that's not because of the camera, it's because of the oil that's on the lens. So what you'll wanna do is just use a little a Kleenex, paper towel, um, and just make sure that the lens is clean. Number two is lighting. A lot of times, homes have nice warm lighting, which is very appealing to the human eye, but it's not so appealing to a camera. So if you can use natural lighting, that's daytime lighting, with bright sun coming through the windows, that's perfect. If you're not lucky enough to have that type of lighting in every room, which you won't, you can buy quite inexpensive white light bulbs. So when you're taking your photos, you can swap out the warm colored bulbs for the light white colored bulbs. As a general rule, take photos during the day in a nice well-lit space. Another thing you can do to help with lighting is use the HDR feature on your camera phone. So what that does is takes three photos with different exposures and combines them to make the best possible lighting. Next is stability. A lot of times if you have a shaky hand and you're taking a photo, your phone will pick up on that. I know it's not always easy to take a steady photo, but there's one thing you can do and that's if you take your hands and pretend you're wringing out a sponge, that's how you want to hold your iPhone. And then you can use the volume up button to actually take the photo. With one hand pushing forward and one hand pushing backwards, you'll create a more stable shot. You can also buy very inexpensive tripods that are meant for phones, even at the dollar store. If you are using a tripod, I would recommend actually putting your headphones into your iPhone and using the volume up button on your headphone wire to take the photo. That way you're not pushing on the phone and ruining the shot. I think it goes without saying, but also make sure that your space is clutter-free and clean, appealing. Stage your photos. It won't take very long. And it'll make all the difference in your shots. Once you have your photos taken, um, there's a lot of apps that you can get to edit your photos. It always helps to kind of sharpen or pop a shot. An app that I recommend is a free app called Snapseed. It has more than enough tools you need to edit your photos. All right, that's all my tips for today. Thanks for watching and good luck with your photos.